our world there's animals all around And you have questions, can you down? Ranger Ray is here to show By talking to those animal pros At the Critter Calm we see the world A new adventure will unfold You'll become an animal champ Here at Ranger Ray's Animal Camp Hello there everyone and welcome back to Ranger Ray's Animal Camp. I'm your host Ranger Ray and today we're going to get right to the point. The point of a rhino horn that is. Because today we're figuring out what a rhino horn's made out of. Hmm, I have no idea. So we're going to be putting on our detective hats today and we're going to delve into this mystery. So let's head to the Crittercom. So let's go. Well, hey there, Crittercom! Ranger Ray, let me guess, you have a tough question for me today? An extra tough one for you today, Crittercom. We're answering the question, what are rhino horns made out of? I don't know that, but I do know how to stop a rhino from charging. How? Take away its credit card! <laughs> nice one, Crittercom. But, sounds like we should charge on over to Rocky and give him a call. Couldn't have said it better myself, Crittercom. Call away! You got it. Uh, hello? Hey there, Rocky. Ranger Ray and Crittercom here. Oh, my favorite park ranger duo. Great to hear from you again. Great to hear from you too, Rocky. But we've got a big question for you. We're trying to figure out what a rhino horn's made out of. Care to help us out? You got it, Ranger Ray. Always happy to help. Here, let me show you. First thing you'll notice about a rhino is our big size and our big horns. Some rhinos have two horns, while others only have one. But these horns are super important. Yes, what do you use your horns for? We use them for protection from predators. Lions and tigers will take twice before messing with a huge rhino and its huge horn. We also use them to fight with each other, to show our strength for a territory or a mate. And we even use them to dig for water and for food like roots that can be found on the ground. Wow, these horns sound super important then. Oh, they are. Each rhino's horn is unique, kind of like a fingerprint. And they're our most essential feature, which is interesting since rhinos are actually born without horns. Really? I've never seen a rhino without a horn before. Well, now you have. A horn is something that grows along with a rhino. So the bigger the horn you see, the older and bigger the rhino is. So, on to the big question, what are rhino horns made out of? Most people think they're made out of bone, but that's not actually the case. They're made of something called keratin. Keratin? That sounds familiar. It should. You humans have keratin too. Wait, you have a horn, Ranger Ray? And you never told me? <laughs> Not quite, could it come. Keratin is the same protein that makes up human hair and fingernails. Wow, really? Hmm. Well, that just doesn't make much sense to me. Because my hair is very soft and my nails are very thin. How does that make tough, hard rhino horn? Our horns are packed a lot tighter than your head or fingernails are. And when keratin is packed together really tight and really dense, it turns into the rhino horn. A perfect rhino protection. Wow, this has been incredible. Thank you so much, Rocky, for all your help. Anytime, pal. Well, we'll see you later. So we see that rhino horns help them with protection to help them get food and also to help show how strong they are to other rhinos. And also that they're not made of bone, but they're made of keratin. The same stuff that our hair and fingernails are made out of. Isn't that amazing, Crittercom? Yes, seems we really got to the point with this one, huh, Ranger Ray? <laughs> I'd say so, Crittercom. So thank you guys so much for coming with us on this adventure. Remember, stay wonderful and wild, and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Ta -ta!